Welcome back crew, this is Happy Days and here we are continuing with our Sylvanas the Ranger playthrough. So last video I was having a little look around for a Plantera bulb uh, and to no avail. So what I started to set up was a bit of a a bit of a bulb, bulb farming, <laughs> hard to say, bulb farming uh, farm up here. And it's quite simply just by making a few rows of uh, mud blocks, um, just thin enough that you can walk through. And you can see already that a plantera bulb has spawned on it and the grass hasn't even finished growing along there yet. So I, you could make as many of these as you wanted above your arena. Um, what I did, just to double check that I was deep enough is I made a, like an elevator going down and I also created a second little farm down here. And so if you're just thinking about it guys, you don't want to be you know, like searching around the jungle constantly for bulbs. So give it enough time, there should be quite a few bulbs sort of spawning in these little uh, farm areas. And you can make them as big as you want. Bigger as little as you want. So the more you put, the more that will spawn. So I'm pretty happy that this bulb spawned. Oh, let's just even that up. And... This will be our first Plantera fight. So what I'm going to do is switch to Hellfire arrows uh, because they have area of effects which hopefully will do more damage and their base damage is stronger. Uh, we've got a Life Force to give us some more HP. We've got Iron Skin and we've got <laughs> Spelunker which I don't need. And I've brought some Archery Potions. Now I did find a Philosopher's Stone which does reduce our healing by 15 seconds. Now, this is a tough one. Do I want quicker heals or more damage? So what we might do... Oh, I don't know. It's just, you know, these two items are the non-criticals. The Avenger Emblem and the Mag Magic Quiver. Because obviously I need to move quickly. I need knockback resistance and I need to fly. I could probably take the boots off. I'm concerned about taking the Avenger Emblem off because it's got three to four defense on it. Let's see the difference to the damage. So I'm at 73. And I go down to 67 without it on. Hmm. I reckon... Oh, it's tough. That's probably worth it. Let's see what the quiver does when I take that off. Ooh, that quiver's adding seven damage. Gee. It's, that's unusual. They both say they increase by about ten damage. And yet the quiver adds so much more on. I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, I'm thinking the quicker heals are going to be... Oh, that added a damage as well. I think the quicker heals are going to be better. Famous last words, guys. Let's do this. I can always change back. If I don't need to heal much, I can always change back during the fight. Okay, so normal Plantera strategy, just staying active, staying moving. Uh, yeah, and just trying to get that damage going. The platforms probably a little low, uh, a little high rather, because remember you're trying to get Plantera to follow you around, it's not coming low enough. That said, we're doing okay damage. Hmm, I haven't had to heal yet, but Plantera's bulbs and shots speed up dramatically as the fight goes on. So I think the 45 second heal is still the right choice. So you can see those pink balls are falling down into the uh, the underground. Whoa, okay, now <laughs> it's go time. <laughs> okay, so you can see with Plantera the benefits of setting up an arena in advance are just well worth it. Is actually going quite well. <laughs> the Hellfire arrows are definitely worth it. 
they just seem to do more damage on impact. I couldn't imagine doing this fight without wings. You'd be using your, um, you could do it with cloud and a bottle, maybe, maybe, but uh, I wouldn't fancy it. <laughs> if I was going to do that, I'd have more platforms set up too. But really, wings are not that hard to get. Wow. That was, uh, that was easy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not being up myself, but, uh, that wasn't too bad. So we did it with titanium and, uh, hallowed repeater. Cool. I could probably even go the higher damage next time. Oh, wow. We got up to 85 with the... Ooh, I reckon if I fought it again, I'd go just full damage because we didn't really need all those heals. So we've got the temple key now and we got a grenade launcher, which is pretty cool. Um, some rockets for it and about 17 gold. Screams are echoing from the dungeon. Okay, so the dungeon now has uh, new mobs in it, which is pretty interesting. And there's a lot for it in here, which I would like to get. So now it's time to go to the temple, which I'm pretty sure this arena is. Yeah, you can see the brown on my map there. The, uh, the temple is right under our arena, which is pretty cool. So what we might do is quickly dig down to the temple this, this episode, I reckon. That went quicker than I anticipated. Oh, wow. That filled up quick. Oh, <laughs> Star Cloak. Cool. Okay. There's a bow that skeleton archers can drop. But I don't know if it's better than our Hello Repeater. Alright, so the strategy here will just be to dig alongside the temple. And. Oh, life crystal. I always collect them because you can make heart lanterns with them. And at the very least, you can sell them for a fair bit of gold. Oh, is this the entry right here? That was convenient. <laughs> that was convenient. And there's even a chest out here. Ah, yes, the lizard power cells for the golem. Ah, spike traps. Ah. I don't... Oh, I can mine the spiky ball traps. Uh, mine any traps you find along the way. Uh, we will need those for our... We'll need them for our mob grinders that we'll use for the... What am I thinking of? For the... Oh, the moon, the moon, the pumpkin moon. Yes, that's it. Alright, so you take your time in here. It's not worth rushing. Not worth rushing. You're just looking for those little pressure plates as you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. This should be okay. See, there's a pressure plate down there that you can see. And it's, I think they're, what are they, spear traps? No, they're not spear traps. Um, more spiky balls. Okay. Look, you can just Rambo through, but the traps do a lot of damage. So you can see the... There's trap... Trap icons along here. So what I'm hoping for is also... Not just spiky ball traps, we also want a couple of spear traps. Spear traps are really good for an ocean farm. To get key molds. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I like how people finish sentences with yeah, as if that explains everything. So, yeah. Based on how we're going, I don't think the missing out on the guns is going to be too much of an issue here. Luckily. Alright, more loot. Nice. Just when you're exploring the temple, just get rid of any little odd things you don't really need. 
Just so if something good does drop and you don't notice, you might miss it accidentally. There's another pressure plate. The pressure plates you don't really need because you can buy them from the... You can buy those from the mechanic, I think it is. Alright, there's more traps up here. Uh, what happened on my last playthrough is, unfortunately... Oh, damn. I think they're super dark traps. Yeah. Unfortunately, on my last playthrough... Ah, ooh, just missed it. I didn't get any spear traps spawn, which meant we had to make a new world. And I think these are spear traps. They've got like this little triangly shape to them. Yeah. Uh, which meant I had to spawn a new world and visit their temple. But I've found all three traps, so we should be okay. There's another dart trap. The dart traps you don't need quite so many of. The spear traps, you probably want about... Mm, you could probably get away with four to make an ocean farm. That's in a pinch. Um, eight. Eight, realistically. Uh, I think there are more spears there. Awesome. Hmm, okay. So I can't quite see... Ah, excellent. Alright, problem solved. No, Gee, there's plenty of spear traps. We can even put some in our mob grinder now. Holy moly. I didn't notice there was more dart traps over here. So basically what you want to collect for your... Uh, Pumpkin Moon Mob Grinders, you want a couple of dart traps, maybe at least six. You need a couple of spiky balls, probably, if your farm's built efficiently, you probably only need about eight of them, because I found uh, uh, beyond that, the damage doesn't seem to ramp up that dramatically. And then the spear traps, are more. they're more for the um, ocean farms than the uh, they're more for the ocean farms than for the events. There we go. There's another trap there. Dude, there's enough spear traps. I must have been really unlucky on my last playthrough. There was not a single spear trap in the whole temple. Oh. I had so much trouble with this temple the first time I went through it. Because I was just ramboing. Rambo, YOLO, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Okay, we're almost there. If you haven't... Uh, if you haven't seen the golem before, the, it's the boss of this uh, temple, which we must be getting close now. And you can actually build a quick arena around it. And in fact, I definitely recommend it because it's it's it attacks with melee and ranged. Um, and when I say melee, I actually mean like it tries to punch you. <laughs> oh man, the spawns here are out of control. That's better. It must just be a real hot spot down there. I've got to try and get down there. Okay, that's. Let's wing it. Okay, there's the Temple Guardian. Oh, I'm out of... Torches. Alright, some more dart traps. A snail. Ooh, I hope this is a nice big room in here. You need a lot of space for the golem. Well, not so much when you're powered up, but... Like we are now, just coming in for the first time. Space would be nice. Oh, the spawn trying to get in here. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're in. Is that a... 
Ooh, nice catch. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't bring the... If I had my wiring stuff, I could set up my own traps for the golem, but we should be fine. Uh, just bin that. Alright, so we're just checking out the whole area, making sure there's nothing that's going to cause me too much trouble. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually seal off this wall so more mobs can't get in. Uh, let's just use mud. Damn you. <laughs> they just beat me to it. Okay, that's sectioned off. Now, unfortunately, the golem's going to spawn right on this uh, wall here. And I don't... You can't pick it up until you get the pickaxe that you get from the golem. So that's an unfortunate spawning place for it. The roof's nice and high, at least. That's something. So we've got plenty of room to maneuver about. So let's start to make a nice flat arena for ourselves. So like with Plantera, you want to make sure you're not going to get caught anywhere when you're flying around and things like that fine that's what gets you killed it's not so much the boss all the time it's the fact you can't move as freely as you need to okay all right next thing we need to make a platform about yay high up and this is so you can uh, shoot down at the golem you only need every second platform step. And this is just what I've learned from early games, so I'm not wasting too much wood when I'm exploring. So the point of this is so you can stay out of the golem's range and try and take its arms out. Uh, its punch attack will probably reach this high, just to give you an idea of how far it can punch. And a good thing about its arm attacks is if you shoot it with an arrow, it actually retracts its fist. So if you can get on a good angle, you can actually almost stun lock its uh, ranged attacks. I was hoping that'd happen. They get caught underneath. Okay. We'll light this up nicely. So by sectioning it off, see how all the spawns are caught there? That means the map seems to have a maximum spawn amount. So, I might actually get rid of these spikes so it's flatter. And put some more mud in. Just thinking, I don't want the... I don't want the golem to be getting too high up. Alright. So, I'm up here shooting down at him. Skeleton archers spawning in. Very unwelcome. Okay, halfway through it, the fight, its head detaches. And... Oh, I need the... I didn't bring the uh, heart lantern and the campfire for regen. Ooh, this is a tough one. Should I go back for them or should I just YOLO it? <laughs> I reckon I'll YOLO. I can't be bothered. So, it jumps around, it punches. If it spawns right on this wall, I should be able to fly straight up and almost stun lock it with arrows. So, I've got a fair few arrows. We've got room to jump around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Alright, you guys ready? You can... You can put a wall up and lock it in. But I'm not sure if I want to because I'll be able to kill one of its arms but not both. So jumping around might be better. Alright, let's do this. Where's it going to spawn from? Whoa, he spawned up there. Is he caught in the wall? 
<laughs> so you can see what I mean about the uh, the punch glove being caught. And you can see its health going down. Try not to damage the golem's body too much. So the first thing you really want to do is take out the arms. Because then in the second half of the fight, hopefully all you've got to worry about is uh, ranged. Alright. Okay, other arm. Ah. It's hard to aim quickly with the... Alright, I'm going to swap sides. See, because the golem's head's so high in health, it's hardly shooting. Which gives me nice time just to work away at its arms. And he doesn't seem to be standing still as much, unfortunately. I can't seem to... I wonder if I can shoot through his body. Oh, I can. Oh, there you go. That's a lot easier. <laughs> the things you learn. He can't even punch me from the other side. Alright, so punch speed goes up as the fight goes on. Alright, let's swap back. So once the other arm's gone, or the fist is what it's called. Okay, now I've just got to take out his head. And then what will happen is, as he takes more damage, uh, the speed of the projectiles will speed up. And his head will turn soon and he'll start shooting lasers at me as well. Which is not nice. Especially because I don't feel like we're doing as much damage as we should be. Here, here come the lasers. Which I think almost being on the ground is better. Oh, I don't know what's better. So hard to aim with the arrows. <laughs> uh -oh. uh oh. Just gotta keep moving. Keep moving. Try and keep track of your healing when you fight. Oh man. <laughs> Just gotta keep moving. So once I've done enough damage, the head will detach. There we go. And now. You the head's invincible, you have to take out the body. And same deal as before, the head will shoot faster as the body takes damage. So what you can actually do is I can take a bit of time and wind down my heal timer while I'm waiting. So five seconds. Okay, heals up. Beautiful. I might even wait a bit longer and just let that heal timer go down. So when the SHIT hits the fan later, I've got a heal ready to go. Still got time on my buffs, so that's cool. Oh, actually, I'm starting to take damage. All right, let's go for it. Just got to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. All right, here it comes. Here comes the pain. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Ah, oh, yes, got it. Oh, beat it. Nice. <laughs> I think we got a, a melee weapon, unfortunately. I was hoping, well, actually, there's no bow weapon you get. I was gonna say the stinger, but it's not a bow. It's a gun. Okay, that's still a nice melee weapon. All right, so there's a pick that drops from, there's a pick you can get from the golem that allows you to mine the lizard bricks. Um, but I think we're pretty good. Can I mine this? Not yet. I was hoping to fight the golem in a better environment. I could set a spawn here and go drop off some loot and heal up and stuff. Hmm. What to do? 
No, I think we'll go home. Alright. So, now we've got all the traps, we can start to refine our... We can start to refine our mob grinder here, getting ready for the pumpkin moon. Um, so yeah, we're really getting towards the end of our ranger let's play here. Uh, it's, it's been going okay, I've really enjoyed it. I'm thinking a warrior next, but uh, you know, warrior... I think Warrior would be next easiest. Actually, Warrior would be tougher than Ranger, I reckon. Then Mage would probably be next, and then Summoner, I would say, is the hardest. Mainly because there's hardly any summon uh, equipment pre-hard mode. Okay, thanks for watching. S smash that uh, like button if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, look, if, um, if this is, these are helping you with your Terraria play, by all means, leave a comment, let me know. And, uh, yeah, if you've got any advice, then by all means leave a comment. I'm always open to learn new things in Terraria. Okay, until next time, stay happy crew, and I'll see you later. Bye.